Once we're comfortable with regular long division with a one-digit divisor, then we can move up to two-digit divisors. Same principle because it's called the algorithm of division. Long division is the algorithm, meaning you can follow this set of steps to get your answer any time following a division problem. So, two-digit divisors. So if we have two digits right here, that means we need to go into two digits right there. Every time that's where we start, because two digits will never fit into one digit, so it's kind of just being logical. Okay. Um, 26, if we remember our steps, Daddy divides, Mommy multiplies, Sister subtracts, Brother brings down, Rufus repeats. Daddy tries to divide 26 into 21, uh, no, we don't know. It doesn't go in. So, make sure you have those zeros directly above, because we want to keep the place values the same. Okay. All the way down. So, now 26 goes into 213. Daddy sometimes might be a little stumped, and he's like, uh, Mommy, help me out. Because he doesn't know exactly how many times. So, being smart as we are, we start multiplying. Let's say maybe, well, 26 times 10 is 260, and it's a bit a ways from that. So maybe I'll try 26 times 7. And I get 2, 4, I get 182. 182, 213, uh, not close enough for me. So I'm going to try 26 times 8. And I'm going up because this number is smaller with it. So I want to make this bigger to make our product bigger. 26 times 8. Now, hey, that's really close to 213. So Daddy now, being confident, can say, hey, eight go, or 26 goes into 213 eight times. Okay? And we put the 8 directly over the 213, because 26 will go into 2,132 80-something times. Not 800 if we put it there, not 8,000 times, 80-something times. 26 divided by 8, mommy's already done the work, thank you very much. So, 208, sister now can subtract, get 5, brother brings down, and Rufus says to repeat, 26 goes into 52, 2 times. 26 times 2 is 52, sister subtracts, gets a 0, brother can't bring down, we are done. This is long division with two-digit divisors. If there is anything left over, then it would be our remainder. One other quick thing. When sister subtracts, if she gets anything bigger than the divisor, if she subtracts and gets, say, 31, if the divisor can go into that whenever she subtracts, you're doing it wrong. you got to mess. you got to start over. So what I'm saying is just... If we get to here, and this number were, say, 31, like we did 26 times 7, 182, got 31 left over. Uh, 26 can still go into 31, so we need to change our answer. But on this, it didn't matter, uh, but that's just a way to check yourself. So when we're stuck and Daddy doesn't know how many times to divide into it, Mommy comes over here on the side and does the dirty work, so thanks, Mom. That is long division with two-digit divisors.